On Wednesday, August 16th, Pikeville Fire Department received two new fire engines built by Suffin Corporation. Both engines will be outfitted with the necessary rescue equipment and each member of the department will spend the following weeks training to operate them. Public Information Officer Nicholas Fleming tells us more about the trucks. Absolutely. So as you see behind me here, uh, Pottville Fire Department has taken delivery of uh, two new fire apparatus here for the city. So um, one is a squad truck and one is a engine. So essentially the squad truck behind me here will serve dual role. So it will have uh, fire pumper operations as well as rescue operations. So it gives us a little bit more capability uh, to respond in the city of Pikeville. Um, just like, makes us a little more prepared in the event of a rescue or a fire operation. When my baby was born, it was magical. And as she grew, having a hospital close to home with advanced health care and specialized physicians being there along the journey was important. And along that journey, many special doctors touched our lives. And then one day, my baby became a woman and a mother herself. Pikeville Medical Center, caring for every moment in life. Department members are given a walkthrough of everything on and in the trucks upon arrival. Then the trucks are stocked with equipment before being taken out on the road. Sutphin is the manufacturer of these trucks. They send a representative along with the truck when we take delivery. They run through every aspect of the truck. So they talk to us about not only the operations of it, how to drive it, how to maintenance the truck if we have any issues or need to do maintenance on the truck. Also, just troubleshooting if we were to rub in, run into any troubles and uh, the characteristics of the truck as well. So they run through that with us. Um, so after that, once we get the truck all stocked and ready to go and to be put into service, all members have to perform 10 hours of on-the-road driver's training with our training officer to make sure that we know that we can respond in an emergency properly and safely. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.